I start off with a sketch before I start a project for a photo shoot and this came to mind. This would be in gothic candle holder and you can see in the back we got our blood red candle and we have this circular type of gothic kind of a um, cathedral type of bringing down to the glass angles and the bottom piece that I'm going to be using out of this bowl. And I found some materials that are relatively available to me and I'm going to now create what I think is a gothic candle holder. Join me. Another great challenge that always comes my way. So I was shopping in this dollar store and I found this, I don't know what you want to call it, a coffee container or something it has a rubber stopper on it. And I got this inspiration. What happens if I turn it that way instead? And then I have this rice bowl that I thought would make an excellent base. Really, it's got a nice decorative quality to it. And I have a small dome which could just very, very easily go right on top of there. And how about a little bit of decoration? How about using this Minute Maid bottle top to be put on top of there? And then, of course, using our two favorite tools, a pair of scissors and some Fila Air Clay. We're going to create a Gothic candle holder. Right now I got my hot glue gun all warmed up. You can actually see the date when I'm making this. And I'm going to be putting some hot glue down. Just enough. I can put my base right on there. Bam. And very nicely done, I must say. Okay, and the next important thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hot glue to the top over here using <laughs> the spider webs and this creates. The dome. Amazing how that goes on. Now I'm just using enough because that glue got quite hot actually. Look at that looks like a little UFO. And then I had cut the top off of our orange juice container here. I'm putting this on top. Just as I can. Boom. Right on. But don't worry about this rough edge. You can always put some clay around there and cover that over. So now we're doing quite well in the building process. Look at that. It's already going into construction. And I've got the light on so you can actually see some of the pieces here. And then we're using it today a 999 black. I'm going to be painting down here, the area here, and then I'll be painting the base along with the top to make these solid colors and let's see what they look like when they're finished. We have this beautiful topper over here. I want to add some feel of clay around here, possibly down the, down the grooves, build up the top over here and add some material that will highlight this topper. And we're going for that gothic Victorian look so we want to add as much detailing as possible. So let's get our Fila clay out and start building. Whenever working with uh, Fila air dry clay, just know that it sticks right to the surface. However, in this case, I need a little bit of coaxing uh, to get this on here. So, see if we can get this all the way around. And as soon as the two pieces meet, they should fuse. Boom, did it. Okay, cut that off we can start building. If you've seen my other tutorials on the lights that I had made, the Victorian lights and stuff, uh, I had shown how to just add the clay. Any raised parts you can just slide back in. Divots and other marks become a great place for paint to get into. And after we do the coating and the aging, it will really stand out. And it looks like it's a hand made or a hand, how you say, poured type of light that was, was made by a, by a silversmith or some type of tradesmith that uh, could design the lights. So in that case we can let this dry for 24 hours and then we can add more later. You can see it's already the next morning the lights coming through the window and this is all solidified. So now we're going to paint this black 
And that's a part about doing soft prop making is you do things in layers and it's not all like you put all the decoration on it all at once. So basically you work in small areas and small groups like today we can actually put some more detailing in here and some maybe some lines over here. So uh, let's do that. We're going to paint these black now and let's see what this looks like. Here's a more interesting part. Last time I was mentioning about putting something up here. Well, this is just a paper doily and we want to cut out some parts of that and then glue them on with some white glue. We can actually put the pieces on here very, very carefully and then stack them around. That's going to add a lot of texture to our piece. There it is. So we put them on there and now we'll let this dry and then we'll paint it over in black. And the last part we're going to be doing before we, we finish our top here is I've got my feel of clay out again. I have a top of a water bottle and I have two artificial pearls over here which I will stack together on top of one another. But I have my hot glue gun heating up right now and what I want to do is I want to trace over the areas of our doily pattern to give it even more pop. So let's do that and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. And you can see now I would added the, the lines and the top parts to it. Added some different pieces. And now let's let this dry and we'll paint it in the morning. I can't wait to show you how good this came out. This is the finial. This is the top part of our lantern and it looks great. Now let's start putting the coating on here to age this. And today's part of the tutorial is just showing how to apply the aging process. And today I am using a Chinese fan brush over here, a large soft fan brush. And I'm very, very carefully just putting it through some 9995 silver acrylic. And I just want to just get that nice, look at that, just that, just a very, very dry edge of the paint. Now you can you can use other paint brushes, but the Chinese brushes work the best as I've discovered, especially in prop making. And what I did was I made an extra prop over here today just to demonstrate for because this has a lot more grooves on it and just very carefully run it over any surface and you will see that the black will fade into the background. All the silver will come to the surface. And that's what we'll be doing to our light today. Okay, so I'm just adding a little bit more down to the bottom part of our our base down here. I gotta be very careful because the bottom part is wet. But that is our finial aged. That came out beautiful. So let's put this all together. Okay, so today I've got my dollar store candle. It's made of wax, believe it or not, and it has a little light down here. I'm using two AAA batteries, and look at this glow. Look at that. It is very, very realistic. We're going to put this artificial candle in our candle holder, and let's see what it looks like finished.